Greetings, I'm Gerd Leonhardt, Futurist in Zurich, Switzerland. I've been working on this concept of the future principles for quite some time and it's been a real big topic in my speeches. And so today I just want to outline quickly what they are, starting of course with technology. So the principle of the future is clear, you know, the technology is exponential. It's leaping, Moore's law, Metcalfe's law, Wright's law, right? We're now at four, next step is eight, 16, leaping into the future. That has been discussed a lot, exponential change. And a lot of my speeches, just check it out, example, my film from six years ago called Exponential Change, Change 2. And then industries are converging as a result. So now we have the convergence of transportation, mobility with technology. We've had already the transformation of the media business with technology. And now in the future, we're going to see the convergence of the pharma and healthcare industry with technology and, and banking converging with technology, with digital currencies, digital wallets, and so on. And lastly, it's combinatorial, which means that the biggest effects of change come in when we see all of the stuff happening at the same time, combining new ideas into new products. You know, for example, uh, the digital twin that's widely used in manufacturing and production allows us to see what's going on on the factory floor virtually uh, in virtual reality and 3D computing uh, and all these things coming together to recreate how we actually do manufacturing. That's just one example. So that's all on, on the technology part. And we have to understand this because it's basically profound warp drive changes, you know, coming to us, as I say, in the next 10 years, more change than the previous 100 years. On the other side of the equation, we have everything that's going on around uh, sustainability and a human-centric, a planet-centric world, right? Holistic business models. Business models that make sense for everybody, not just for the shareholder, the stakeholder economy. Right? That, that's a tall order, clearly. Uh, the circular economy, making sure that we don't just take out, you know, we don't just extract things like energy or human, uh, human power and human workers, right? And we actually put it back, right? So the circular economy idea is very simple. Whatever you take out, you put back. So tourism, energy, right? Uh, sustainability, that is the circular economy. Circular will be the default by 2030. If you're not moved to a, cir a circular economy by then, you will be discarded. And I think many companies that are not capable of circular economies, for example, the, uh, the oil and gas industry, that is clearly a very tall order, or cruise ships, right? They won't be here uh, if they can't make that switch. So this is a very, very big challenge. I think many, uh, many people foresee, and I, I agree on that, that for example, uh, actively investing in oil and gas and coal, of course, uh, will be akin to a crime uh, in the, by 2030, in the very near future. Uh, we're always going to have oil and gas in some way or the other, but not as a primary energy source. Finally, human benefit. Right? Human also means planetary. I'm, I'm thinking about human in the larger sense, not just people, right? Also animals and environment, of course, right? So making sure that we have collective benefit. Every technology we invent should result in human flourishing or we shouldn't be using it. And that should be the measurement of how we do all this in the future. So these six principles together form the framework for what I call the good future. And that's, of course, my main topic now, right? the six future principles. If you can put those into action in your company and in, in your life, of course, but also in government, you know, I think that's a very, very good direction. And the other thing that's coming, of course, at the same time is this concept of going away from this simple obsession of profit and growth right, to a larger story, people, planet, purpose, and prosperity, which, of course, is also my main mantra of operation, right? That's the future. The future can't be just profit and growth because that will kill us. And we're pretty much on our way. If you're watching what's happening at COP27, you know, yeah, if we don't change our course and really fu fundamentally question how we do things and what the purpose of it all is, yeah, we're going to be in deep trouble. We will not survive global warming of four, five, six degrees, as has been the discussion now. Uh, well, if we survive it, it will be in, in special climatized suits for the rich or on other planets. Just ask Elon, I suppose, right? So the four Ps, people, planet, purpose, and prosperity, they form the backbone of all these six future principles. And we should look at that together. So any business plan that does not involve the future principles equally is flawed. And this is why we're seeing right now the drawback on the, you know, the, 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 what's happening in the tech industry, uh, this kind of decline of value, like Facebook down 74% and, 
and uh, at the time of recording, it will probably be 90% very soon. <laughs> but you know, we're seeing that here is the same story. And we need to put that back into business, right? And put those future principles to work. That's the ticket to the future. So thanks very much for tuning in and check out my other videos and be sure to subscribe and hit the notify button down there. Thank you.